you. I would like to call to order the February 2nd, 2022 Planning and Zoning Commission. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please call the roll. Blossom. Topfest. Here. Smithwick Ailey. Anderson. Here. Burton. Here. And Baba. Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. Are there any changes to the agenda? Are there any objections to approving the agenda? Hearing and seeing none, the agenda is approved. And for the Planning and Zoning Commission meeting of January 5th, 2022, are there any changes to the minutes? Any changes, any objections to approving the minutes? Hearing none, the minutes are approved. And we don't have any presentations with prior notice or public hearings, but we do have a couple items of new business. Resolution PZ 2022-001, recommending approval of the Paces Pleasant Haven subdivision additional number three plat. May I have a motion to approve? Just second the motion. No, a motion. I move to approve. I move to approve. Thank you. Mm -hmm. May I have a second? I'll second. Charlene Topfest. Thank you. May we have the staff report, please? A link to the staff report can be found on page six of the printed packet. On December 20th, 2021, Edge Survey and Design submitted a preliminary plat to the city for the subdivision of one lot into two lots. Edge Survey and Design represents the owners of record, KOA Family Trust. The preliminary plat is for parcel number 0592610, which is addressed as 209 John Circle. According to Edge Survey and Design, this parcel has an area of 2.562 acres. The Kenai Peninsula Borough lists the parcel as 2.3 acres, but this is likely due to dated imagery and coordinates, and that's common for um, plats that haven't been subdivided yet. This parcel contains a multifamily dwelling. The subdivision of this parcel will result in lot four and lot five. Lot four is 1.154 acres and is vacant. Lot five would then contain the multifamily dwelling and would be 1.408 acres. Regarding the zoning, page eight of the packet depicts the parcel. The existing parcel is currently split zoned and is predominantly commercial, which is shown in yellow in the figure. The commercial, or um, with only 1,159 square feet to the northwest corner being zoned rural residential, and that's depicted in blue in the figure. This small rural residentially zoned portion extends approximately 50 feet into the lot and will represent about 2.3% of the total area of the newly created Lot 5. Lot 4 would then be completely within the commercial district. Adjacent land to the north, east, and west are also split-zoned rural, residential, and commercial. Land to the south is commercial district. The minimum lot size, width, and maximum building height and minimum yard standards of Soldat and Municipal Code 1710230E are met for the rural residential zoning district in regards to lot five. The minimum lot size with maximum building height and minimum yard standards of Soldat and Municipal Code 1710265E are met for the commercial zoning district in regards to both lots four and five. Legal access is from John Circle. The application was forwarded to the Soldatna Public Works and Streets and Maintenance for their comments. 11 notices were mailed on January 7th, 2022, and no comments have been received regarding this plat. Their preliminary plat, Paces Pleasant Haven Subdivision Edition Number 3, meets the standards of Soldat and Municipal Code. Resolution PZ 2022-001 has been provided for your use and recommends approval to the Kenai Peninsula Borough. Thank you. Are there any questions for staff? Public comment period is now open. Is there any member of the public who wishes to speak on this particular item? Uh, all right. No one else wishing to speak. 
public comment period is now closed. Are there any commission comments? All right, we'll call for the vote. Toppest. Yes. Anderson. Yes. Barton. Yes. And Baba. Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. Um, now moving on to resolution PZ 2022-002, recommending approval of the Golf Acre Subdivision 2022 replat. May I have a motion to approve? Motion to approve. And if you could, um, I move to approve resolution and then read the whole thing. <laughs> I, I move to approve resolution PZ 2022-001. 002. 002. Yep. Great. Thank you. Shirley, Shirley talk for a second. Thank you. May we have the staff report, please? Yes. Uh, this, uh, this application was received from Mike Schessler and Heather Swanson. And uh, the last one, uh, the last one we just considered or you looked at was uh, a split. This one is a combination. It combines three lots into one. Um, they're all at the golf course area on Long Drive. Um, the uh, total uh, size for the proposed lot would be 5.464 acres when they're all combined. The lot in the center is... Um, currently housing their, their home, their single family home, and then on either side, those two lots are vacant. They own all three and they wish to, to combine them. Um, access, as I mentioned, is off Long Drive. Um, the parcels are zoned rural residential, as are the surrounding properties. The, uh, the plat meets all of the general standards for the rural residential zoning district. And we, uh, we did pass this uh, plat around to uh, the, the different departments and uh, circulated it for comments. We also sent it out to uh, 11 notices to neighbors and we received no comments uh, at this time. So we do find that the, the uh, plat does meet the general standards for Soldatna Municipal Code and recommend approval. Thank you. Are there any questions for staff? Um, I have one question, and um, when you're combining lots like this, you can't really uncombine them very easily. Are there any downsides to the city if, of combining um, residential lots like this? It's uh, solely solely up to the property owner. So um, it's as as you, yeah, it's it either way whether it's combining or splitting. It's a it's a platting action that has to go before the different bodies and go through the process. Um, of course, when, you know, after they're mm -hmm. formed and then you combine them, rules may change. So, you know, and that may happen the other direction too. But, um, you know, so if lot size, lot sizes change, for example, maybe, maybe they increase in size. And so maybe the person can only form two lots instead of the historic three or four. So although those kinds of potential changes, but it, it's not any more, I don't think, any more difficult to split as to combine it's just okay thanks thank you are there um any other questions for staff um and uh, the public comment period is now open is there any member of the public who wishes to speak to this item in particular <laughs> yeah Thanks. 
Thank you. Um, yeah, with no one else wishing to speak, the public comment period is now closed. Are there any commission comments? It seems pretty straightforward to me. So. Yeah. All right, call for the vote. Todd Best? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Barton? Yes. Baba? Yes. Motion passed. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> All right, well, congrats. All right, resolution PZ 2022-003, recommending approval of the review Riverview Deluxe Subdivision 2022 replat. May I have a motion to approve? I move to approve resolution PZ 2022-003, recommending approval of the Riverview Deluxe Subdivision replat. Thank you. May I have a second? I second. Thanks. All right, may we have a staff report, please? A link to the staff report can be found on page 32 of the printed packet. On January 10th, 2022, McLean Consulting Incorporated submitted a preliminary plat to the city for the combination of two lots into one lot. McLean Consulting represents the owner of record, Rachel and Sean Johnson. The preliminary plat is for 475 West Riverview Avenue, which is parcel number 06015054, known as lot C2A. This parcel has an acre or an area of 0.25 acres. This lot would be combined with 473 West Riverview Avenue, which is lot C2B, and has the parcel number of 06015055. The preliminary plat combination would result in lot C3 with an area of 0.732 acres. As can be seen on page 34, figure one, an addition onto the single family home at 473 West Riverview Avenue resulted in an encroachment issue. By combining these two lots, the encroachment issue would be resolved. Additionally, 475 West Riverview Avenue provides parking for 473 West Riverview Avenue. This replat would also correct for parking that is not located on the same lot. The zoning for both lots is single family, two family. Additionally, land within the proposed lot C3 is part of the Kenai River Overlay District. The land to the north is vacant and zoned multifamily. The lands to the east and west are zoned single family, two family as well. And the land to the south or in the to the south is the Kenai River. The minimum lot size with maximum building height and minimum yard standards of Sildotnami Municipal Code 1710-240E are met for the single family, two family zoning districts in regard to lot C3. Legal access is from West Riverview Avenue via shared driveway with lot C1, which is 479 West Riverview Avenue. Municipal sewer is available, however, water is not available. The application was forwarded to Soldotna Public Works and Streets and Maintenance for their comments. Additionally, 12 notices were mailed on January 12th, and no comments were received. The preliminary plat review, or the pre preliminary plat for Riverview Deluxe Subdivision 2022 replat meets the standards of the sold out municipal code. Resolution PZ2022-003 has been provided for your use and recommends approval to the Kenai Peninsula Borough. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Are there any questions for staff? A lot of straightforward stuff tonight. Uh, the public comment period is now open. Are there any any member of the public wishing to speak on this issue? All right. Um, public comment period is now closed. Seeing none, are there any commission comments? We can call for the vote. Todd Pest? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Burton? Yes. Baba? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you. Um, is there anyone from the public who wishes um, to comment on... Um, on an issue without prior notice. So um, I don't know if I said that well. Public comments without prior notice. This is the time, um, but we will have a work session afterwards. Um, so. All right, seeing none, um, reports. Council Member Hutchins, thank you for joining us tonight. Do you have anything to report? Okay, thanks. Good to see you. All right. 
um, Economic Development and Planning Director, John Zerniski. Uh, thank you. I only have a couple things. Uh, one is uh, Breck Hewitt, our acting clerk, asked if I would remind you again on your um, APOC filing requirements. Don't forget uh, that March 15th is the deadline, so uh, please get those in. And the only other thing that uh, I wanted to mention is that it's likely that your May meeting, I know it's a long ways out, but it's likely it will be switched to the third Wednesday of the month rather than the first. So I just want to put that on your radar. And that's all I have. Third Thursday? Wednesday. Third Sorry. Wednesday. Sorry. Okay, thanks. All right. And Associate Planner, Jen Skinner. I have no comments. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Commissioner comments? Starting to the right. Mr. Burton. Yeah, no comment. Excited to jump into the work session down the line. No comment. Okay. I don't have a comment. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Um, well, with that, the meeting is adjourned, and we can jump into the work session. <laughs> Thank you for all of that work. I know it was a lot. Appreciate it.